Welcome! And as you have probably already surmised, we're getting us ourselves into a little bit of malarkey today. Here's the deal. I've been monitoring this wall since I moved in here, like maybe a year and a half ago. And also, although it's obvious that there was water damage here at some point, I'm not sure that's happening anymore. I have not observed any moisture intrusion through this, so I suspect what might have happened was maybe they had a leaky window, and these windows are relatively new, they got it replaced. Um, but, you know, while the old window was there, water might have been leaking through like here or through the sill and kind of made its way between the cracks on the center blocks and kind of made a mess. And over the years, it's obvious that they've tried like patching it up in all kinds of weird and hacky ways. Um, I can see here like a lot of this paint is flaking right off and there's like many, many layers here until we reach bare center block and there's quite a bit of efflorescence here so my idea is that I want to kind of strip the paint here clean it up uh, one of my main tools is going to be either this wire brush or actually I've got something even better 500 IQ move that's going to be the scaler now the scaler is great that's it's made for well paint rust and all kinds of things removals all it really does is like it's like basically diddles your surface it's uh, I've got it connected to my air compressor which is outside because that thing makes an incredible racket, but basically it's like this. Ready? I'm thinking it'll just make this job a little bit faster. And the reason I want to strip it down to bare center block is because I'm then going to slap a coat of dry lock on it. Um, basement, masonry, waterproofer, and this stuff basically can support or resist water pressure on the outside wall and I think it basically wicks inside the center blocks but I know this stuff works because once upon a time here there used to be for some god-awful reason uh, a cedar closet an entire cedar closet and when I went inside and the previous homeowners for some reason left me some clothes in there like uh, but I saw that the cedar itself was moldy. I, I thought, well, I'm never going to the basement to dress up. Like, who does that? That's such a bizarre idea. Anyways, I got rid of it. And what I discovered was it was just basically bare wall. Everything else here was painted, but right behind it was not. And it was obvious that some water was kind of seeping in through the center blocks. I painted it over and I haven't had a problem since. Now, I will say that with a caveat, I'm not sure that paint is like 100% the real solution to a water problem. You want to go outside and figure out is how is the water even getting in here. Maybe it's a, a downspout or a gutter that's just kind of dumping water right next to the foundation. So you want to address all that kind of stuff first. Doing like gutter work in combination with the paint, that'll take care of this and it'll make it look much better. So that's what we're doing. So. Let's get started. I will be wearing, uh, you know, obligatory uh, eye protection respirator because uh, I do not want to be smelling what the rock is cooking. But also, more importantly, if that is black mold or used to be black mold, that is certainly not something I want to be breathing in. So that's why we have a respirator. Now for <laughs> now for the final work here, um, I'm going to use my angle grinder with a wire brush attachment, and that's going to do a really good job of stripping the paint. I'm going to open the window to clean that up. It's a little while later after doing this and I'm reasonably happy with how it all came off. Now I'm just going to bust all the dust off of the walls. I do have a few problem areas that I want to patch up. I'm just going to use concrete repair. Um, 
concrete repair mix. Although ordinarily, you probably want to use something that's um, more resistant to a, whatever it's called, hydrostatic pressure. But in this case, because I'm going to rely on that paint for, for that purpose, this is just to patch any holes that I see, not to resist water. All right, now it's painting time. Um, I'm gonna use this three quarter inch nap paint roller. Let's call it a paint roller. Three quarter inch nap for rough surfaces. And actually, before I do that, why don't I clean? So let's clean, bingo bango. All right, now we paint. Hopefully we have enough. Alrighty then. With the exception of the fact that it's a little sparse looking, but I did run out of this uh, dry lock paint, and it's looking a lot better. Got rid of all that old mold and water staining and all of that bad juju, and now it's looking fresh, you know. The landlord special. But a little bit better than the landlord special. That we took care to make sure that the dry lock actually had some center blocks to adhere to rather than just slap a coat of paint on it, you know what I'm saying? So why don't we do the, the following? I'll probably buy another one of these, because I might as well now just finish painting this whole thing white. By the time I get to that, you know, we're going to see. Is there going to be any, you know, seepage, water permeating through the center blocks or not? Like I said, I'm pretty sure this was an old problem that has now been, that has been solved a while back. I have not seen any water actually coming in through this, but now that it looks, you know, more or less pristine and white, we'll be able to see if anything is in fact coming through. Although it shouldn't because that's supposed to be the paint's job. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's have a look at this. Now I shot that footage about four months ago in August. It's now December. So you can see it's holding up fairly well. Let me turn the light on. There isn't a hell of a lot of staining going on for the most part, but the most annoying part, the biggest problem area I had, this keeps kind of coming through with staining, which, you know, I think I can live with that. I think it still looks a lot better than it did. It is not really moist to the touch, and it doesn't seem to matter how many coats of paint I put on that, it still seems to penetrate through. So to conclude, does that paint work? Does that concrete sealant, basement, whatever paint, I'll put a name for it somewhere in the video. Does it actually work? Answer is mostly yes, but I think if you have like a real big water problem, I don't think it's going to solve it. And in fact, you need to take steps to solve that first before you start slapping coats of paint onto concrete or cinder blocks. I think this stuff does well in resisting a light amount of water pressure. That isn't really a big problem, but everything else, you're going to be looking at gullies, uh, water diverters, um, making sure your gutters are pointed away from the foundation of the house. Anyways, Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.